everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming back with another scrape, uh, scrapbook layout. I am using the, Boulev the Bella Boulevard Island Escape die cuts, and I have it on some, um, just some plain white cardstock. And they are ginormous and they are beautiful. The colors are just breathtaking. Now the papers that I'm using here, this paper is from Illustrated Faith as well as this blue. And I'm going to put that at the bottom kind of as a base. Um, and the photo is a pretty old photo of my daughter. And I made this layout because of a, a challenge that we had in the August Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And one of the challenges we had was about names. So um, like how did you come up with the name or names of your kids or names of pets or whatever. So I decided to talk about my daughter's name. Now her name is Juliana Michelle Rancier. And in French, uh, Juliana Michel Rancier. But we don't say it like that. We say it the first way. And I wanted to have her name sound very French. Um, my oldest daughter, um, her name is Tara. It's not French at all. <laughs> so, but I wanted to have, you know, my second daughter to have a French sounding last name. So I went about how we ended up naming her and it ended up being, um, a friend that my my ex had worked with and that was her name was Juliana and I fell in love with it so we just kind of went with it like that now as I bring in the supplies for the the alpha this is chipboard it's Paige Evans and I am just not one that I can mix the different colors with every letter. It just bothers me so much. So I was trying to get, you know, this uh, light blue in the pink um, for every letter, but I darn, I didn't have enough. So then I had to go back. And so I had enough for Vary to be one color scheme and then French to be another color scheme. And I get it all together and I look at it down there at the bottom below the photograph and I really don't like it. So now I need to um, pull it all up and I'm going to, because I still need to have room for my journaling. First, I thought I was going to put my journaling um, on the left side of the photo, but I, I just wasn't happy with it. So I think I end up moving the letters just one more time after this. And this is why I think it's, uh, it's a good idea to use wax paper to put your, your alpha on. Yeah, because I moved it a lot. So as you saw, this is the Heidi Swap. It's called Navy. And I'm just putting sprinkles all over. And then I also put on Vibes. It's a Shimmers product. It is called Glorious Day. You didn't see me sprinkle that, but it's on there as well. I ruffled up the edge of um, of the blue so that it has a little bit of texture before I um, adhered it to the, you know, to the striped paper. And now I'm going to try to place everything back the way it was. Um, I didn't take a picture. I should have done that because it took me a little bit to get it all together. It was too many pieces. But I tell you what, it was so beautiful. It really didn't matter. It was close enough as long as I had the colors represented and the sizes. And I really did like um, having those butterflies. Those, I believe, are Jen Hatfield. Um, I don't have them in front of me. But and all these items I received in a click kit, which sadly to say I had to stop getting the click kit. But, um, but this was... Uh, one of the uh, months, you know, that had all these fun things in it. And the photo was taken in Mexico. So that's what made me think to use this, um, this kit as it was. Now I raised up a couple of the flowers, you know, maybe the petals I did with some foam tape. Most of it I did glue flat. Because I, you know, the the butterflies are the thing that really gives it the dimension. So I didn't want to take too much away from that. I 
It was interesting working with this, these large elements. The whole package is just full of them. Okay, this is going to be the last time, I promise. <laughs> okay, so I decided to go ahead and put it here. And I'm so glad I had my tea ruler. Don't think I would have done it um, straight without it. And then my journaling is going to go below the photo. I'm also going to add the sequins. I really love sequins. If you guys watch my channel, you know that about me. I don't make you watch me put the sequins down, but I do use the Distress College Medium. <clears throat> and I use my tweezers. I dip it into the, the, the medium, and then I put it down on the paper, and it they don't move. They don't fall off. So, and they don't, um, it doesn't dry like glossy, like glossy accents does. Uh, it dries matte. So this is Wink Estella. I just put a little bit on the inside of some of the flowers. Oh, here, this is where I'm going to put the gold. I thought I put it down with the blue. All right. I guess I felt like I need a little bit more color. And that's the vibes. It's called Oh Glorious Day. Now these were in my kit. They are from Pretty Little Studios. They're little word, you know, phrases. So the one over by the photo, it says, you are mine. And the one over on the left side says, you are loved. And then the last one I put on, it's above the photo. It says, the best is yet to be. Okay, this is it. The, here's the close-ups. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you like to see more like this. You guys have a great day. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>